Hi Aquarius, I'm Pam the Lucky Mermaid, psychic seer and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for June 2024. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in June and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages will be coming to you from there, so you might want to check that out. This recording is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Rising, and Aquarius Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tower Deck in this reading. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I've recorded for my Vimeo On Demand pages, my 2024 financial psychic tarot readings are available on Vimeo. That link is down below in the description box, and you can also get it on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. Those predictions are from April of 2024 until the very end of the year at the end of December in 2024 going into 2025. Also, my what's lucky and new for you in 2024, psychic tarot and oracle card readings are available on Vimeo. Also, that link is down below in the description box in the show more section, and it is also available on my website at theluckymermaid.com videos page. So all that being said, Aquarius, now on to your June. I still can't believe I'm saying June. June 2024 Psychic Tarot Reading. The first card you have, Aquarius, is the Six of Pentacles, and this is giving charitably, generously, and freely to others. It's also receiving charity and generosity from others. This could be the balance of give and take. It could also indicate financial success coming for you in the future. For some of you Aquarians, there could be a lot of things that you have to do to kind of clean up your financial picture or your financial situation. So this could be like looking at bank accounts, making budgets, trying to cut costs, you know, paying down debts, moving accounts from one type of account to another. And it's like you need to see where you stand financially for what next you're getting ready to do. And you may also feel like the key to some of your success may be more to align yourself with the magnanimous energy of love and giving. So you may think, some of you, I, I feel some of you are correct. I, don't, I mean, this is correct, I believe, but um, I'm hearing it from my guides that some of you may uh, believe and feel that if you give generously and freely to others, that you will also be blessed with the universe bringing you, you know, um, fortuitous situations that could be uh, bring financial abundance to you. Some of you are going to go through some door and the person you go through that door to is going to hire you. So if some of you were looking for a job, and you go on an interview in June, maybe even in late May, I'm recording this in May. So some of you, this could happen in May, but for some of you, this is happening in June. So if you go on any job interviews, you're very likely to get hired. Some of you may cast aside fears and doubts that you thought you never would and are going to do something either extravagant uh, or drastic with spending money. So there might be something that you're like, I'd never do that. It costs too much money or I don't know if I could afford it or 
I don't want to spend that kind of money. I need to save it or something. Some of you are going to make some kind of drastic move or decision to do something that maybe prior to now you would have considered radical or extravagant with your money. Like some of you could build, re like rebuild your home or build an addition or redecorate your interior or buy something like maybe you never thought you would buy land or a piece of property or another house or, or something. Now, some of you are going to hear this and go, I don't have money to do any of that. You're crazy. What are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, if you're one of those people, then there's something in your life. Maybe it's not that grand. Maybe it's not building an addition or buying a house or buying a vacation home or buying a boat because I, I see a boat in my mind. I also see like a, a boat that you would take out maybe fishing or, or you know, pleasure tripping around. Some of you are going to get a boat. Then you're just going to spend money on something else that is like extravagant that you didn't think that you were going to. So you have another good money card here. You have the Ten of Pentacles. And this could be winning money. It could be uh, gaining money through an inheritance, a gift of cash, money coming to you through family channels. It could be you and your partner working together uh, on something, a business or your jobs to build a strong financial foundation for your family. I do feel that many of you, you're increasing your earnings. This could be through stocks and investments. It could be through uh, money you at a business you own. They could be giving you more money at your job, a bonus, a raise, a commissions check. But again, like I said, this could be, you know, if you own your own business, you could start to have more sales. Some of you are going to have a new source of income stream to come to you. Now, if you don't already have a business, you may be starting one. This could also be something that you're, maybe you already have a business or you create things, but now you're going to create something new. You're going to do something new and you're going to add it to your life, even if you don't have a business. Maybe you're like, you know what? Maybe I should make this or that. I'm good at it and start selling it on Etsy or eBay or some other platform uh, that where you can sell your products or wares or services. And even though it may not be a business to you yet, you may start doing that. And then you're like, hey, I got sales coming in. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And you may end up turning it in to a business. <laughs> I hear a stronghold opens and the floodgate comes out. Uh, that's what my guides are saying to me. And I see like a safe or a basement or a hidden spot or it could, that all could be symbolic though. This could be, but I feel like it's money that belonged to somebody and they may have hidden it and you come across it, maybe you buy a house and you are like renovating the house and you're ripping up the floorboards and you find there was a secret hidden spot under the floor and there's money. Uh, but it could also be from a relative or some, um, it almost feels like either the person was official like had a position in politics or government or something or how it was stored was official. But for some of you, there's some kind of stronghold, like my guides say, that opens up that has money that somehow is going to come to you. Now, it may come to other people as well. I don't know that it's only coming to you, but... Uh, so that could be an inheritance, but for some of you, I really feel like don't be surprised if somebody says to you, hey, I found this money or you find the money. Think about it. 
So your next card in your reading, Aquarius, is the Eight of Cups. So this is turning away from something that's not working for you anymore, emotionally speaking, and heading off on a new journey with a stick of power and control in your hand. And even though the journey's unknown, you're still willing to take it. So you could be leaving something, a job, a love relationship, a club group or organization you belong to. We have to see what it is. I feel that some of you have kept yourself in a life or lifestyle that may have made you feel trapped or you feel like it's gone on too long. And so you may be seeking like different experiences and different, which could be caused by different environmental factors, which could mean moving. So you could be moving out of a place you're living. Um, but I feel it's even more like whatever the end result is that the actual action steps you take, I still stand by what I said first. There's something about your life that has been too predictable or, or, uh, or has been going a certain way that you've kind of gotten entrenched into a pattern of routine. Uh, uh, I don't even know what else to call it. Um, that is not serving you anymore because you've, it's like my guides are showing me an orange. It's like you've squeezed the life out of that orange. <laughs> like you've done that enough and now it's time to move on. You need uh, fresh new experiences in your life and you're going to be making some changes and moves to do that. Now, are you all going to do it in June? Maybe not, but you may be processing it. You know, Aquarius, how those gears turn like a clock in your head. You're going to at least start doing that now. But some of you will actually take the action steps that I'm talking about. I, I, I really get like you're going to plant your feet firmly in a new place. I feel that many of you, this means you're moving, but it could be moving to a new job. It could be moving to a new country, city, town, state, province. I don't know. It doesn't necessarily mean you're moving close. Some of you, it could be close by, but you just need to shake it up. Some of you may need to move further away. If you've been in a roommate situation or a particular living situation, like with certain people that you live with, you're like, okay, I'm done with this situation. It's time to move on. Uh, it could be like that. So you have to see how it plays out for you, Aquarius, in June. My feelings are that you, your feelings, my feelings are that your feelings are going to be, I'm making decisive action. That's what I see you doing. Like you're like, yep, I'm on it. This is what I'm going to do. This is my next step. Get out of the way. Like, don't try to cloud, don't try to crowd me or uh, confuse me with your rhetoric and what you have to say. I made up my mind and this is the direction I'm going in. So that's what I see for Aquarians with the Eight of Cups. Now, this is where you Aquarians are going to freak out because I see the comments on how people react. So remember, Aquarius, before I read this card, you had two really good cards right at the beginning. And your third card, Eight of Cups, was not bad. It's moving to something to change your routines and your daily life and to bring in new, fresh energy. This card, so you had good things in the reading because so many times people want to ignore anything good, I say, and only focus on the bad. Now, I don't know that this is going to be bad. The tower can be upsetting, but it can also bring in good things. The tower could be a fight, an argument, an end of a friendship or relationship, an end of an old paradigm so a new paradigm can begin, or an old rulership so a new rulership can begin. It could be some kind of like earthquake, fire, floods. It could be natural things. This could also be an awakening, like your enlightenment is you're waking up to something, you're realizing something. This could also be your life is getting shaken up, but that isn't always a bad thing. So, you know, you have to see what it is for you. 
Okay. I feel like this is more something you're going to hear. Not so much something that's affecting your life. Because the very first thing my guide said to me was, underground tunnels are going to get blown up. Now, I don't like to get into too many things on this channel that can br drive up controversy when it comes to things that go on out in the world and whether people believe in it or they don't believe in it. I have to report what I get. So I'm telling you, that's what they said. You're going to either hear or feel the rumblings and what this is, is underground tunnels getting blown up. Make of that what you will. But I feel like you're going to feel it. And some of you are going to hear about it. And both. And hear it. Hear it, feel it, and hear about it. I also feel that this is something happening. Remember, whether you're an Aquarius that listens to these readings or you don't. I also feel this is something that's going to happen in another country. I live in the United States. Um, it could happen here too. But I... This is like... This can represent war in, in, in a country that's experiencing bombs. Because this literally feels to me like an explosion. And... Um, I also pick up that there could be fights and arguments that go on over this, whether it's somebody that blew up tunnels or something that blew up in uh, war. There's some like dispute about it. Like it was something that is going to bring the world's attention to it. Like it was unethical or it was, I, I don't know. Like I feel like, Whoever did it is going to say that wasn't supposed to happen. That was an accident. And that the other people are suffering the consequences of it. And then the world is going to judge it and decide it. So remember, there's Aquarians that live in war zones. So it may not apply to you at all. But some of you may feel this as a tunnel uh, that's getting blown up for some of you in your area. Could also be an earthquake. On a personal level, I feel like many Aquarians are going to dramatically change their opinion of something. And it could be based on a tunnels getting blown up or something that happens in a war zone that is claimed to be an accident. It wasn't supposed to happen. And, you know... It, it isn't good. So this is also your belief or opinion about something dramatically changing. So the next card in your reading, Aquarius, which is the last one for this month of June, you have the Eight of Swords. And this is feeling trapped, like feeling trapped in an emotional prison, like your own emotions could be trapping you. This could also feel like you're in a circumstance or situation you can't see how to get out of and you don't know, um, you can't see the solution. Although the solution may be really easy and like right there, but you're not seeing it or aware of it. Some of you are learning to let go and not get so intertwined, enmeshed and involved in things or pay attention to things that you can't control. So I see some of you going, I'm turning off my phone. I'm putting that phone down or I'm not going on the internet or I'm not watching news, mainstream news, whatever, like, or anything on TV, maybe even cutting yourself off from any of that for, a, for June or for a while, or certain things, you're like, oh, I'm spending too much time on that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it because I feel that you are coming to the conclusion that there are things that go on out in the world that are 
like you feel like if you know the movie The Truman Show. Uh, and if you don't know it, I highly recommend you watch it. It's very interesting. I didn't see it till only, uh, you know, like two years ago. And it's been out for a long time. You may start to think, am I in the Truman Show? Or that things you're watching are a play. Or let's put it this way, being orchestrated to create to control and create certain responses from you. I feel that, so, why you've got the Eight of Swords for some of you is that that stuff that gets put out there in the airwaves is affecting you too much. You may also feel like Wi-Fi may not feel great for you. You may do some research about Wi-Fi and you may decide to turn off Wi-Fi in your house for not maybe not all the time, but maybe off and on. You may be like, I don't want Wi-Fi too much. Things of that nature. You may be doing a lot of thinking about where you want to put your focus and your energy now. You may have gone through a period of time, which I go back to this card of what you are now going to shake things up and leave. Um, of where you had directed and put your energies and thoughts and emotions and feelings and all that in a particular direction or more than one direction, maybe for some of you. And now you're like, I need to put this, this can be you mulling over in your head, this eight of swords, like what, what directions can I go? Where, what do I want to change? What's the best course of action? You may also be thinking this about food, water, medicines that you may take, uh, natural remedies, like what's healthy for you, what's not healthy for you. What can you do to make things more clean, more pure, uh, better for you? You may be putting thoughts into that. That can be air quality. It can also be... Envir other environmental factors of like where you live, uh, even products you use, clothes you wear, what they're made out of. You might start uh, mulling all these things over. So and maybe you already do, but this could be kicking up for you. And for some of you, it could be new thoughts about it. So for the best gemstone crystal for Aquarians to work with, use, and wear in the month of June 2024, you got Onyx. And Onyx gives strength and promotes vigor, steadfastness, and stamina. It banishes grief and puts you at ease with your surroundings. Onyx enhances self-control and stimulates wise decision-making and... It also encourages happiness and good fortune. That seems to make sense with some of your cards that came up in this reading that you would get this now. This is going to be a gemstone that's going to help you learn how to bite the bullet and let go of stuff. So it's very hard maybe for some Aquarians to let go of certain things, but this gemstone is going to help you do that. So if you need to make any big changes and there's certain things that could be lifestyle choices or where you live or whatever. If you wear onyx, it's going to help you let go of those things. It could even be helping you let go of beliefs. It's a stone that's going to boost your energy and it's going to make you look better and feel calmer. So somehow this is going to interact with your aura which will make you actually look better. Even if you're like, I didn't do anything. You may have people come up to you and go, what did you do? You look really good. You look younger or you look more, you know, energetic or you just look more this or that. And it's the energy, if you wear onyx, it could be the energy of the vibrations that onyx puts off that affects your aura that's going to make people see you that way. And if you have anything to learn, if you're studying anything, 
or trying to learn information about certain things, Onyx is going to help you with the process of learning in June. So I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like this video if you liked it, and share it with others if you feel it was worth sharing. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet, and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo On Demand pages, you can get any of those that are linked down below in the description box in the Show More section under this video, or you can go to my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. As I said in the video, my two most recently recorded video series are my 2024 Financial Psychic Tarot readings and for each sign of the zodiac. Those predictions go from April of 2024 until the beginning of the new year of January 2025. Also, my What's Lucky and New for You in 2024 Psychic Tarot and Oracle Card Readings. That's a series I do every year. They're usually very popular because people do want to see what's going to be lucky and or new for them in the new year. So you might want to check that out. Also, there's other video series linked down below. There's my New Year's readings, Psychic Tarot readings for the New Year, Psychic Crystal readings for the New Year, the big love readings for this year of 2024, uh, the eclipse readings, my solar eclipse in Aries, April 8th, 2024. Psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings are available. You're still being affected by that eclipse uh, from April 8th for six months out and maybe even up to a year. And the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, March 25th, 2024. Psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card reading. Those eclipses, that one you're also still being affected by for six months, maybe even up to a year. So you may want to check the, those Eclipse videos out. So I won't go through all of them. You can see what I have available. And if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see in a video where I write the predictions down that I get from using tarot or oracle cards, and I post them to my social media pages. So you can follow me at the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram and at the Lucky Mermaid on X, formerly known as Twitter. And you can also follow me on Rumble. My videos also go on Rumble, and my Rumble channel name is the Lucky Mermaid LLC. That's all one word together. And you can also find my posts on the YouTube community pages as well. So I hope you'll, hope you'll check them out. <laughs> Many people find the predictions resonate with them, and hopefully you find they resonate with you too. So I hope all of the signs, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful and amazing month of June 2024. And know that I wish you Many blessings and peace.